Hurried kick. Jordan drives it and it works effectively. To Kurnow, immediately plays on to his big mate, Harry Mackay. Running again by Doherty. Sends it towards Kurnow on the wing in front of Logue. Logue does well to bring it to ground, but he infringes. As he against Logue and Pierce, who played well on him in round six. To Koning, very good in the air for a young... Harry Mackay's at the back, Pierce. O'Brien, another inside 50 towards Kurnow. He gets everything but the mark to yeah. pay. Yeah. Well, this they can change each other in, so... Yeah, absolutely. I... Make it three in a row for the Blues. We're in front for the first time. Confidence thought about a second. Went to Nunes. Steps one way. Didn't want the shot. Pierced it to Kerno. Plays on immediately. Hooks it around the body. Cue the crowd. <laughs> So they're not, they're not plays away and find Charlie Kernow and kick it to his advantage. We've seen James Ace do it at times this day, this year where he's gone in and played on someone. Louis did it against Melbourne a couple of weeks ago on Clayton Oliver in the second half. Here's Walsh again, yeah. sending it deep forward. Silvani, Kernow, bang, massive goal. Charlie loves it. Kernow's thrown himself at the ball in this third quarter. It's a great physical presence from your two big men down there, Howie. You love this. They haven't had the most dominant day, but they keep competing. Brilliant tap work. Down to Hewitt, landing. Hammer blows the Blues now. Bangs the ball forward. Cox floats across the face. But Charlie's out the back. He's getting the Blues fans up. Because Kerno, he's got four. Everything. So he gets in good position, forces Logue into the contest. Understand the kicks going a little in times today where they probably just needed him a little bit more. Yep. Lands in the lap of Kerno. Yep. Gonna come back at twice the speed. Sard. Oh, look who he's found. 